Welcome to the spoken tutorial on Align and Distribute Objects Using Enscape. In this tutorial, we will learn to align and distribute various objects, arrange objects in rows and columns, set spacing between objects, and create a tile pattern. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux 12.04 OS, Enscape version 0.48.4. Go to Dash Home and type Inkscape. Now click on the logo. Let me open an already saved Inkscape document. Here we can see 5 different shapes placed randomly on the canvas. On your Inkscape canvas, please draw 5 shapes and place them as shown here. Now let us start aligning the objects. Go to Object menu and click on Align and Distribute. The Align and Distribute dialog box opens on the right side of the interface. Two types of positioning are available here. Align is where the centers or edges of objects are aligned to one another. Distribute is where objects are distributed in horizontal or vertical direction based on their centers or edges. We can align objects in various manners using these options and their sub-options. Here is another important feature, relative to. Using this, we can align the objects with reference to something. Click on the drop-down list to see the options here. So we have last selector, first selector, biggest object, smallest object, page, drawing and selection. By default, the objects will be aligned relative to page. This means that the selected objects will respond to the align and distribute operations according to your page dimensions. Press Ctrl plus A to select all the objects on the canvas. The first five icons will align objects in the vertical direction. Let me click on the first icon. As the tooltip says, right edges of the objects are aligned to the left edge of the anchor. Please recall here the anchor point is page as the relative to option is page. Notice that two objects are overlapped now. Overlap may occur based on the closeness of the objects in the previous arrangement. We can correct this by clicking the remove overlaps option which is below the distribute option. Now the overlap is removed. To adjust the gaps between the objects, both in horizontal and vertical direction, use the H and V options. Now, click on the options under Align and observe how the objects align themselves. Use the Undo option, Ctrl plus Z to understand the alignment better. The tool tips are quite useful to help understand the alignment. The last icon works only on text, so we will learn about that in another tutorial. Next, we will adjust the gaps among the objects using the distribute option. Since the objects are in vertical direction, we have to use the last four icons under the distribute option. Let me align them to the center first. Now, click on the options under distribute and observe how the objects align themselves. Once again, use the undo option Ctrl plus Z to understand the alignment better. Refer to the tool tips to help understand the alignment better. Under relative to, observe there is an option treat selection as group. This will align the objects as a whole group. Click on the checkbox. Now, click on the icons one by one and observe the objects are aligned as a group and not individually. Let us uncheck the box. Now the objects will be aligned individually. Next, let us align and distribute objects according to last selected. Change the relative to option as last selected. So bring all the objects inside the canvas and place them randomly.
Select the objects one by one. Select the circle last. As before, click on the icons one by one. Since the last selected object is circle, observe the objects are aligned according to the circle. Likewise, you can try out all the options listed in relative to and observe the alignment of the objects. We will learn about the advanced options in Align and Distribute dialog box in later tutorial. So, let us close this dialog box now. Next, we will learn to arrange the objects in rows and columns. Go to Object menu. Click on Rows and Columns. The Rows and Columns dialog box opens up. Using this option, we can arrange objects in rows and columns, giving necessary spaces. Arrange the objects randomly on the canvas. Now, let us arrange these objects in two rows and three columns. So, change the row parameter to 2. Observe, when the row parameter is changed, the column parameter changes automatically. Click on Arrange button at the bottom right. The Align option helps to align the objects in the right, center and left. Check it one by one and observe the changes. We can set the space between the objects for both rows and columns using the set spacing option. Now change the space parameter as 5 for both row and column. Click on arrange button. Observe the space between the objects. Now. I will show how to create a pattern using align and distribute. I have a new Inkscape file with four squares of different sizes and colors. Select all and rotate the squares so that they look like diamond shapes. Open align and distribute dialog box. Click on center on vertical axis. Click on center on horizontal axis. A tile pattern is now formed on the canvas. Using these options creatively, we can form many unique patterns. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learn to align and distribute various objects, arrange objects in rows and columns, set spacing between objects, and create a tile pattern. Here are two assignments for you. Create five circles having the following dimension. Arrange them randomly on the canvas and select all. Using align and distribute, change relative to option to biggest object. Click on align left edges. Click on center on horizontal axis. Create 6 squares of blue color and size of 100 by 100 pixels. Select all squares and open rows and columns. Arrange them in 3 rows and 3 columns. Set both vertical and horizontal space parameter to 20. Your completed assignment should look like this. The video at the link shown summarizes the spoken tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops using spoken tutorials and gives certificates on passing online tests. For more details, please write to us. Spoken Tutorial Project is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT MHRD Government of India. More information on this mission is available at the link shown. We have come to the end of this tutorial. This is Aarti Ansaurabh from IIT Bombay signing off. Thanks for joining.